Hey guys, I'm Pranav Shastri and in this video I'll be explaining the fundamentals, actual functioning and practical connection of smoke detectors with conventional fire alarm control panels. So what you can see now is a basic schematic of a conventional fire alarm system layout. There are say 4 or 8 or 16 zone loops in the panel and each zone can be connected with more than one detector in a parallel cascading fashion. Let us take a closer look at the proper wiring convention that one has to follow. This is the drawing of the base of the detector which is screwed to the ceiling. You can see that there are three terminals. One is called positive in out which means that both the incoming positive wire from the panel and the positive wire going to the next detector will be connected at this point together. The incoming negative wire from from the panel will be connected to the terminal labeled negative in. The wire going to the next detector in the line will be connected to the negative out terminal. This is done for a fail safe mechanism. Let me explain that in detail. Now suppose there is a break in the line after maybe say one or two detectors. How will the panel get to know? To solve this problem there is a concept of end of line resistor that has been deployed here. The end of line or also called as EOL resistor is connected at the last smoke detector. This will mean that some current will always be flowing through the closed line via the EOL resistor. The panel will be sensing this current. The minute any detector is opened, the circuit path of the EOL resistor is opened. Therefore, the panel detects that some detectors in the line may not be actually connected with the system. The negative in and negative out terminals are shorted together inside the smoke detector unit. So whenever the detector is opened, the EOL path is opened and the panel gets to know about it. Here in India, I have observed that many people end up making their own wiring plans which violate the fail-safe mechanisms. For for example, in this drawing, you can see that there are two parallel paths outgoing from the first detector. That is not allowed, since the concept of UOL resistor can be applied only to a single parallel path. In this drawing, you can see that both the positive and negative wires have been blindly looped like a domestic electrical connection and the UOL resistor is connected in the panel itself, so that it does not show that the zone is open. I have observed this a lot and this totally defeats the fail-safe purpose, so please don't make such stupid connections. This type of connection gives you a peculiar advantage. If you detach any smoke detectors in the line for maintenance purpose, the further detectors in the line will still remain connected. However, at least still connect an EOL resistor at the end of the line. The people out here connect the EOL resistor in the panel itself, therefore fully defeating the purpose of the EOL resistor concept. So that's enough of theory and now coming to the practical part. This is my smoke detector as you can see and this is manufactured by two companies that is System Sensor and Honeywell India and this is model number 882. You can find the details of your smoke detector on the back side of the detector. You can then take that model number and company and put it on Google and you'll get the data sheet of that particular detector. Now here you can see something very similar to what we saw in the schematic earlier. There are three terminals and they do whatever was explained in the schematic. There is a provision for a fourth terminal here which has plus RA and LED written over there but there is no terminal. That is given for an auxiliary remote LED in the line. However, our detector does not support that so it has been blanked off by the manufacturer. So these are the three terminals, positive in out, negative in and negative out. You can see that when we fasten the detector unit with the base, the terminals mate with each other and they properly make the circuit. And that's how the detector is powered. So here I have with me the popular Ravel fire alarm panel. I'll be using this as an example panel to give you guys a rough idea of where your zone cables connect to in the panel. This is an 8 zone panel and the wires from the 8 zones connect here. The black things you can see on the top are EOL resistors that have been provided by the manufacturer. Here I'll be connecting the detectors to zone 1, so I'll take out the EOL resistor and insert the zone cables. So you can see here our cables will first come from the panel and enter the first detector, then get looped as per the schematics to the second detector, which will further get looped to the third detector. And the EOL resistor will be installed in the third detector. Now I'll detach the smoke detectors from the base units so that we can make our connection. So this is our positive and negative wire which will be connected to the zone input in our fire alarm control panel. Please ensure that you maintain correct polarity because this is not AC, this is DC at 20 volts. That is the general voltage of smoke detectors. So this is a rough layout of how the wiring will go. We'll now cut the wires in these lengths so that we can make the connections. Now coming to the connection. So this is our incoming cable from the fire alarm control panel. So first we'll pass all the cables from the back side into the base unit and then skin them. Now we are going to make the connections as per the schematic which I showed you earlier. As far as the positive wire is concerned, they both go to the same terminal which is labeled positive in out. So 
so now we have connected our positive wire successfully coming to the negative wires the incoming wire from the fire alarm control panel will go to the terminal labeled negative in the negative wire going to the next detector in the line will go to the terminal labeled negative out practically it doesn't matter even if you interchange negative in and negative out because the sole purpose of it is just to check the continuity and interchanging in and out will not matter there so we have successfully connected our first detector in the line now let's connect the second detector it's pretty much the same both the positive wires go to the same terminal which is labeled positive in out and the incoming negative wire from the first detector will go to the negative in terminal and the outgoing negative wire to the third detector will go to the negative out terminal and it doesn't really matter even if you interchange these negative in and negative out terminals So in this way two detectors have been connected in the line successfully and now we have our last detector to connect. So pass the wires through the base and skin them. Since this is the last detector in the loop our EOL resistor will come into picture. So as usual along with connecting the positive wire from the previous detector into the positive in out terminal we'll also have to connect one end of the EOL resistor to this terminal. The negative wire coming from the previous detector will go into the negative in terminal as usual. Now the last thing left to do is to connect the other end of our EOL resistor to the negative out terminal. In this way we are getting a fail safe mechanism so if anybody opens any detector in the line we'll get an indication in the panel. This also includes the last detector. So if someone opens the last detector also we are going to get an indication in the panel. So with this we have successfully connected the entire zone loop with our fire alarm control panel. So now I'll fasten back the smoke detectors with their base units. So here is an analog fire alarm control panel from 2006 and I'll be powering it up so that you can get a clear understanding of the working of the entire system. The zone loop that we have here is connected to zone number 2 in this panel. Now you can observe that if we open any detector in the line the open circuit indicator for zone 2 is switching on. The minute we install back the detector you can see that the open circuit indication at zone 2 goes off. The open circuit function in the control panel basically tells you that one or more detectors in the line are not connected or that the line is probably damaged or broken at some point due to which all the detectors are not successfully connected with the panel. Now if I attempt to create a dead shot condition between the positive and negative terminal the short circuit LED for zone 2 will switch on therefore indicating that the line has been shorted somewhere Here if I shot the negative in and out terminals you can see that the open circuit indication for zone 2 goes off because that's what the smoke detector unit essentially does as I explained to you earlier that the negative in and negative out terminals inside the smoke detector unit are shorted Now let's test the actual functioning of the smoke detector The basic way of how the signaling works which no one has explained properly on YouTube for conventional fire alarm panels the smoke detectors are always powered when the smoke detector senses smoke and wants to initiate an alarm it increases the current in the circuit to generally 70 milliamps or 80 milliamps so basically the fire alarm control panel will be sensing the current in the zone loop whenever it increases beyond this threshold it detects that one or more smoke detectors in the line have initiated a fire alarm and that's how it basically works Thank you for watching the video guys I hope you found this video helpful if you did then please do consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel if you have any doubts please do comment them below and I'll try my best to solve them so thanks for watching